In this video I'll show you my game. It's an Outer Wilds clone. And yeah, two months ago I decided to learn Unity. And I wanted to start with a clone of some game. And the original Outer, Outer Wilds is one of my favorites. I even did a video somewhere there. So here we go, let's start. I have a solar system which consists out of the sun. Sun Station. Hourglass Twins. Timber Hearth. And there the game starts for the player. Every planet moves by Newton's law of universal gravitation. And because of it, some pretty interesting bugs might happen. If gravity is too high, everything clings to the sun. Which actually looks terrifying from the first person view. If the gravity is insanely huge, planets start to bulldoze the sun at a high velocity. But if you'll find a perfect initial velocity vector for each planet, everything works like a charm. Let's look at what you can do as a player. Obviously, you're getting pulled towards each planet, and you can walk on its surface and look around. If you get near a celestial body, you'll rotate towards it. This is needed in order to have the ground at the bottom. You can also jump, use your fuel and your super fuel. Every second you're breathing oxygen, which you can restore by walking near the trees. And of course, you'll die if you have nothing to breathe. Remember to breathe, kids. One of my most favorite features of the game is marshmallow roasting. In order to cook it, you need to hold it over a fireplace. And when it has a perfect color, you can eat it. Then you can put a new marshmallow and repeat the process again. You can burn your marshmallow accidentally by putting it right into the fireplace. If it's burning, you can extinguish it and then eat it or toss it somewhere. And you can overcook it. Also, you can burn yourself to death. And this ugly text is... I don't know why it's there, actually. Now I'll show you the spaceship, which looks so good in my opinion. I have modeled it in Blender myself. This is its first version, and don't tell me that it's ugly. I <laughs> know. It looks like a box with legs. It has a gravity field, which can pull you inside. And if you want to get out, you can just open the hatch. If you want to refuel your jetpack and heal up, you can use ship's refuel station. Obviously, you can buckle up and fly the ship. And it's just beautiful in my opinion. You can easily understand how to control the ship with this little thrust acceleration showcase. I love this thing. And this is how the ship looks from the outside. The spaceship has Spaceship Navigator, which allows you to lock onto planets. When you're locked, you can see planet's name, distance to it, and your relative velocity. Also, it shows your relative acceleration with those white arrows. And the little last thing is the flashlight, which you can toggle. The last part of the video is a short code showcase. I want to show you my architecture, which I'm very proud of. Firstly, everything is nicely divided into multiple classes, which is very important for future scaling and bug fixing. Secondly, huge classes like player are divided with humble objects, which basically means that player has fields of different humble object classes that handle some specific logic, and the player only handles invoking this logic. For example, oxygen breathable handles oxygen breathing for the player, movable handles player movement, damageable handles damaging and healing the player. Let's see damageable classes as an example. It has health points, max health points, min health points, and you can damage damageable and heal it. Movable knows how to move the player. It gets player input from player controllable and then walks by foot, fires horizontal or vertical thrusters. Groundable helps him to understand if the player is on the ground. And yes, this solution is good, but you can't tweak humble objects fields from the inspector. So in my next game I'll try to create separate mono behaviors for every piece of logic. And my last architectural decision is building user interface with C-sharp events. 
let me explain what this means on Spacesuit status class example. First of all, Spacesuit has three tanks. One for oxygen, second for fuel, and third for superfuel. They get depleted when player breathes oxygen or fires thrusters. When their field percentage changes, they invoke C-sharp events, passing the new field percentage. Spacesuit status subscribes to those events, and when they are fired, it updates itself. Neat. This helps to keep user interface separate from the core game logic. As a plus, we don't update UI every frame, but only when it's needed. I'm very proud of the code, especially considering that this is my first project in Unity. So, if you want to look at it, you can find it on github.com slash nikitashkaruba. Link is in the description. So yeah, this is all I have to offer in this video. I'm making it as a finishing step for this project. There, development got a little bit repetitive, and I'm pretty sure that with a couple of artists and one more physics game developer, physics was the most challenging part for me. I could make the game as good as the original Outer Wilds. Now I want to learn more about multiplayer and networking, so I'm switching the project to Among Us clone. The original Among Us isn't famous for its badly written code, hacks, and I want to do it properly. Also, there is not a lot of physics, so I'm good. See you, hopefully, in the next video. My respect to you. Bye.